Automakers are sprinting towards an electric future with upstart brands revolutionizing the industry while legacy automakers prepare to electrify their established product. When Tesla came out with the Model Y, Ford came out with the Mustang Mach-E. And now as Tesla continues development on the Cybertruck, Ford is striking back with an electric pickup truck of its own. This is the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning and it marks the return of a legendary performance nameplate and the biggest commitment to EVs from Ford yet. Yes, the Ford F-150 Lightning is an F-150. And yeah, it looks like one from the profile especially. The only real distinction is that charging door on the front fender. But from the front and the back, this is a somewhat different looking truck. Ford did that by relying on lighting elements. There are big LED lighting elements at both ends of the truck. In back, it looks like an F-150. It's even got F-150 stamped into the tailgate on this Platinum model. But up front, Ford closed off the grill because you don't really need a grill on an electric vehicle. Instead, you get this black finish that looks pretty cool and is an interesting take on the current F-150's grill. But the lightning specific parts on this truck are pretty cool. And when I say lightning specific, I really mean the parts that say lightning. The badges on the back of the bed, those have little specks of blue on the outsides of them. It's kind of a neat touch that makes them pop a little bit. And on the back of the tailgate, there is a little Thunderbolt icon next to an American flag just to remind you, the truck owner, that you are driving an American-made all-electric pickup truck. There's still a fair amount about the Lightning's mechanicals that we don't know yet. We know that there will be a standard range battery and an extended range battery, but we don't know the capacities of either of those. What we do know is that the extended range battery will cover up to 300 miles on a charge, will have around 560 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque, and can tow up to 10,000 pounds. That's about 4,000 pounds less than the maximum that you'll get on a gas-powered F-150. As for the smaller battery, we'd wager that it'll be around 230 miles to a charge, and we know it'll tow about 5,000 pounds, although an optional towing package will up that figure to 7,700 pounds. What Ford has talked at length about are the charging options. If you plug this truck into your average wall socket, expect about three miles of range per hour. A 240 volt plug will recharge at 32 amps, scoring lightning owners 21 miles per hour, while an available 48 amp setup will get you from 15 to 100% in just 10 hours. As for fast charging, the lightning can suck down electrons at a maximum rate of 150 kilowatts. That is disappointing to be sure. Still, it'll get the truck from 10 to 80% charge in 41 minutes. While the F-150 can suck down power, it can also put it back out courtesy of Ford's nifty Pro Power onboard system. Now, this is actually an improvement on the system in the F-150 Hybrid, which can only put out 7.2 kilowatts of power. This one puts out 9.6. And its real party trick is if you lose power at home and your truck is plugged in, it can put power back into the grid. It can power your house for up to three days. And even if you don't have that capacity at your house, there are five outlets in the bed of this truck that can power things like your refrigerator or freezer. There's one 240 volt outlet and four 120 volt outlets. So you know how I said the exterior looks like an F-150? Same with the interior, except for one very notable thing, and it is this enormous 15.5 inch display that you might recognize from the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It's here as the upmarket offering on the F-150 Lightning. Not every truck will have this one, but believe me when I say you want this display. Otherwise, the fact that this is an F-150's interior isn't a bad thing. The material quality is very good. Ford really upped its game when it redesigned this truck, and you still get all the same fun creature comforts. You still get an interior work surface, a max reclined seat. Those are things that are still available. Other tweaks? Well, there's a slightly different gauge cluster. The all-digital instrument cluster has a few F-150 Lightning-specific touches. But other than that, and this big screen, there's not a lot to set this truck cabin apart from the gas powered model and that's not a bad thing it's not a good thing it's just a thing ford is being aggressive with its timetable volume examples of the gmc hummer ev are some years away while tesla is still building the factory that will turn out the cybertruck 
Ford, though, is accepting $100 deposits on the F-150 Lightning now and aims to have the truck to market within the next year. Prices will start at just $39,974 for the base truck with a standard range battery before state and federal incentives. If you opt for the priciest of the four trims, the Platinum, and go for the bigger battery pack, plan on spending around $90,000. There is still a lot about the F-150 Lightning that we just don't know yet, and that's to be expected since it's not going to be on sale for about another year. But what's clear after seeing it here is that Ford has no intention of sitting on the sidelines as the race for an electric pickup truck heats up. Whether the F-150 Lightning has what it takes to compete with the Tesla Cybertruck, GMC Hummer EV, and Rivian R1T is another question entirely. For more on the F-150 Lightning and all the electric pickup truck news you can possibly handle, be sure to check out MotorOne.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and wherever else you get your social media.